Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to share with you how I mix paint in my mixing room. Now let's go. Hey guys, so this was a request from one of my subscribers that he wanted to know how I mix paint. <clears throat> so guys, this is my paint mixing machine. Every day I come in in the morning, I turn it on, it's very noisy, but it turns, I turn it on every morning, it runs for like 15 minutes just to make sure that all the metallics and all the paints are properly mixed before I start mixing paint. Okay, now I'm gonna show you my computer system. That's where I punch in my color code that tells me what on this rack I need to mix my paint. Now I have two setups where I can do this. I have my main computer right here with my keyboard that I could touch, that I can punch in anything I need for my color codes. I also have a touch screen right here that I can use to do the same thing that I could do on here. I just have two different setups. This is my scale. This is where I put the can if I can mix my paint so that I can measure everything that the computer tells me to measure and they work together. So that way when I start putting the paint in, once I get to the measurement that I need, the computer tells me I'm done and I go on to the next paint. Now this is my computer setup and that's how I mix all my paint. Now for me to get a color code, I have to go to the car. Now 99% of cases, most cars, at least most cars, have the color code in the door jam. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, right here I have a Hyundai. I'm gonna open the door, I'm gonna show you how I got the color code. Okay, so right here we have a Hyundai. I'm gonna open the door and I'm gonna find the color code in the door jam. All right, so here we have color code IM, right here where it says paint. 99% of cases, that's where you're gonna find your color code. Let's go back to the mixing room, punch that into the computer, and then we can mix it. But before we mix it, we have to check to make sure that the variant we pick matches that car. So the color code was I am. The manufacturer is Hyundai. Here we go, Hyundai. So here are all the options that I have to mix the paint. These are my variants. This, tells, this gives me options in case one thing doesn't match, I have five different variants. Now, I made a video before on how I spray on my spray panels and I put them away the way I have them here because I like to have bigger panels. Now, the computer gives me options to go into these panels over here so that I could check these variants. So, it tells me to go to Hyundai 3. And if I go over here to Hyundai 3, I have a chip chart over here that'll tell me what colors I can choose from these variants to mix them. So yeah, I already found one that I had already made. So Hopefully this is a good match and I won't have to search too long. Yep, found another one. See, found another one. Two panels to check. Now, if you guys want to check out how I make these panels and how I store them away the way I do, I have a video on that that you guys can check out and I'll put the link right here for you guys to check it out. It's a good video. It's important to know your colors and the matches on your colors to make sure that when you paint it, your color has a good color match. I'm gonna go check this color. And I'm gonna start mixing. Okay, so the way I check my colors is I usually check my blend pan. That way I know that when I blend it, the blend's gonna be smooth and it's gonna transition into the blend panel properly. All right, I got the color that I think is gonna be the proper color to blend this out and make it look good. Now let's go mix. Yeah, it's not just mixing paint, you gotta Make sure you're doing the proper steps before you mix paint, guys. So, all right, I got my variant. I'm gonna pick the variant from there and I'm gonna start mixing paint. So when I hit my variant, it's just gonna ask me what options I have for reducing the paint or not reducing the paint. And this paint is reduced two to one, like most cases. It's solvent, it's not waterborne, so it's mixed two to one. Waterborne is mixed a little different. It's mixed in percentages. So this is a mixed two to one ratio, and that's what I'm gonna pick right here. So let me show you real quick, right here. This is where it measures how much paint, and asks me how much paint I wanna mix. 
So I'm gonna put eight ounces, which is half a pint, and it's gonna be eight ounces reduced. So let's pick the eight ounces right here. Hit okay. Now I'm ready to mix, and it's gonna be already reduced. Now, real quick, let me show you. Let me see if I can show you real quick on this screen. So this is all the paints that I have to mix, and then the reducers on the bottom. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different cans to pick from the system. Now each can is numbered. In case you guys didn't know how paint was mixed, each can has a different number. So every time I finish mixing one, it goes to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. That's how I start choosing the paints I have to mix. So from here, all I have to do is pick mix. Right here, I hit my mix. Another screen pops up. I'm gonna place my can on the weight scale and then I'm gonna start mixing. So, I use metal cans to mix my paint. Place it right here. Now, I'm gonna have to turn on the machine guy to mix this paint. So, I'm gonna cue the music, start mixing, and then show you how I mix it. Okay, once I got my paint all mixed up, now all I gotta do is go over to the paint shaker and shake up my print real good so that all the metallics are mixed nice and properly to make sure I get an accurate color match. Paint it to In a nutshell is how I mix paint. Everything's done by computer, everything's done by color code. It's a very simple process and I hope this was helpful and my subscriber that asked me to make this video for you, here it is. I did it for you. I'm sorry it took so long but here it is and I hope other people that see this see how we work in a paint 
mixing room in a body shop where cars are painted. Well guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, bye.